Hi, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com, and we're going to look at a software tour of the T-Mobile version of the HTC Touch Pro 2. Now, here we are on the home screen. You got a clock. It's kind of a different than the European version. It's more of a darker background. Looks like we got kind of a blue background here too, which is kind of odd with the uh, solid black top and bottom bars, and the whole phone is you know, brown, bronze colored, which kind of clashes a lot. Anyway, this is the same old calendar items, call history, clock up the top. Next is the contacts tab. Uh, same as usual here. You flip through people and you got buttons to call them or text message them on the bottom. You can add and remove favorites. Next is text messages, same as the original touch flow here. Emails, flick through like that. Calendar tab is uh, new compared to the old Touch Pro. We can go to a day and you can actually see your appointments as well as the weather, which is really cool. So I go to the next day and I can see that it's going to thunderstorm tomorrow and you can go all through any of your days there it's really nice switch back to month view got your menu here go back to today create a new appointment let's see what new appointments like nope goes back to normal Windows Mobile next is the internet tab now with the European version, I believe this goes to Opera as the default. But this one goes to Internet Explorer. You also have a link to YouTube and three bookmarks here. Now, I haven't figured out a way to add my own bookmarks that doesn't take them from Internet Explorer. If I click on them, it's going to open Internet Explorer. which defaults to the mobile view. But we also have a search bar up there, which is good. Next is the stocks tab. You can see how the stocks are doing. Pretty nice. Photos and videos. Same as usual. Music. You got that. My volume's off. Next is the weather tab. I missed it. Very much like the Touch HD flip through other cities, forecast, and next is the settings tab. We have some new things here. You can customize tabs. That's good. Change your wallpaper, communications, change your ringtone, volume, all that. And here's one special for T-Mobile, my faves. I can turn on or off the display of my faves. And last tab is programs. Uh, you don't see this uh, programs tab on the European version because they changed the start menu to go to a more finger friendly grid like this. T-Mobile decided to bring back that tab because they used the old start menu. Now there's some good reasons for that. We'll get to it in a second, but since I just turned on the uh, My Saves tab, you see my Home tab and my Contacts tab are gone from the bottom here, and now it's just My Faves. So even though I do have My Faves, I kind of prefer the Home, Home and Contacts tabs to be separate. Getting back to the Start menu good reason to have it as the old way is because with the keyboard you can actually navigate it. 
Hello. There we go. See, I can type the letter that's underlined and get quickly to those applications. Unfortunately, there's no start menu hardware key, so I have to reach up here with my finger and open it each time. So let's get into our programs. Which way should we go? Through TouchFlow? Yes. Programs tab. We have some up here by default. We've got the camera, quick GPS for helping to get your GPS location. Telenav, a uh, GPS navigation program is included. That has voice prompts and everything. My account is, uh, gives you quick access to your my your T-Mobile account. Oh, doesn't want to do it over the Wi-Fi. Anyway, that'll show your used minutes, text messages, billing summary, that kind of stuff. See, here we are. And you also get the Handango in hand app store. You know, the Windows Mobile app store that has been around for years and years and years, but nobody's ever heard of it. T-Mobile includes that and has for a while. Next is YouTube. That's your HTC YouTube app. Google Maps is included, Com Manager. Opera Browser is included, even though it's not there as the default browser. If we go to All Programs. You get a bunch of instant messaging programs. There's AIM, you got Adobe Reader, Photo Album, Bain I installed. Contacts, Core Player, I installed, Facebook, I installed. Google Talk comes with it. Internet sharing comes with it. So you can plug in your laptop and get internet access. An old version of Live Search comes with it. Not sure why they gave us such an old version. You also have Jet Set Presenter. Messenger, of course. MySpace IM comes with it. OneNote Opera. PowerPoint, of course. This I installed, so that doesn't come with it. RSS Hub. Remote Desktop does come with it, so you can log into your servers, log into your other desktop computers, full remote desktop access. Set of email is a easy, uh, kind of a wizard for setting up your email accounts. You got all, all these options here. Windows Live, Yahoo, uh, AOL. Where were we? Now this list, I cannot type. I'm pressing letters on the keyboard and it's not filtering. So that's a pain. Teeter, a great game, it comes with it. Tom Tom and Tweakini I installed, voice notes, comes with it. Yahoo, that's the instant messenger, also comes with it. So those are a lot of great programs. Here's the YouTube app. Show it in the landscape. Looks great on this big screen. And let's see what else. I'll show you one of the instant messaging programs. Yeah, you gotta go through all this setup here. I'll skip that. You also notice all these menus are skinned even on third-party programs. So let's go to one that I installed. How about Facebook? I gotta log in. How about 